It's a hard pill to swallow. Your gal pal. So the date, the hotel, and the price. It's open and shut vice. But we weren't looking for money. We were looking for information. As far as I understand, that is still not a crime. Victor, please. Detective Williams. My father and my fiance were investigating the murders at General Hospital. Now, admittedly, their methods may be stupid. I but... beg your pardon. Who are you calling? Victor, me? be quiet. But there was no criminal intent. Tell it to the judge. He may believe you. Lucy, I don't. Lucy and I did nothing wrong. I, look at this man. Do you honestly believe that he's a pimp? Hey, it takes all types. I once arrested an 85-year-old blind woman on pandering charges. This is going nowhere. Yeah. And neither is your fiance. And they call me tacky. Oh, because dead in that outfit. You actually get men dressed like that? No, just Ewok. Oh, come <laughs> on, huh? Leave her alone. Let me guess. Enchanted escort service. I take the Fifth Amendment. What, you think I'm a cop? Huh, she thinks I'm undercover. Now, where do you suppose that I would be hiding a wire, huh? Listen, it's just I'm a little slow with trust at this point. I'm not having a really good night. Well, cheer up, honey, because that is a lot better than that little Bo Peep number they had me in a few years ago. Little, little Bo Peep? Wait, 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 wait. Are you saying that you used to work for Enchanted Escort Service? Oh, yeah, about five years ago. I quit, though. Got tired of dressing up. Really? Mm hmm Um, listen, did you happen to know, you know, a lot of the girls that work there? Well, of course, honey. I make friends wherever I go. Oh, <laughs> Whew. I bet you do. Uh, listen, there, there's this one girl, person, woman type I was looking for. Um, kind of in her, her 20s, you know, uh, brunette, had really big lips. And, uh, you know, she, she probably worked there, I, I don't know, maybe uh, a couple years ago. Maybe, maybe you know her, sort of Marilyn Monroe-ish? Eve Honeysuckle. No, I've heard that name before. Uh, that's not right. Marie Curious, maybe. Marie Curious, that's definitely a fake name if I ever heard one. I don't remember her real tag, but I don't think she'd be the one you're interested in. Why not? Well, she wasn't a real working girl, you know. She left the business to go to, are you ready for this? Medical school. Hmm. know about Eve's past. She never discusses her family or where she's from. She told me once her father took off before she was out of diapers. I gather there were hard times. Hard enough to make her into a killer? It's beginning to look that way. The day my father was murdered, he hit Eve and gave her a black eye. I think there was more. I think the fight escalated and she killed him. Eve claims she was with Chris at the time of the murder. Like we can believe anything Chris says. Maybe he helped Eve kill your father. The day Grace died, she left a message for Scott about my defense. She also said she didn't want Eve or Chris to know that she was speaking with Scott. Grace could have had information that proved Eve did it. And Eve killed her to cover up the first crime. Why the attempt on you? To make me look like I was the killer, couldn't hack the guilt, and committed suicide. She set the whole thing up perfectly, except for letting us find the empty morphine. Yeah, morphine. maybe she didn't have time to hide it or she intended to plant it on you after you died. If she'd succeeded, she would have gotten away with three murders. Eve won't get away with anything, not while I'm around. We'll find a way to prove she's guilty. I won't rest until she's behind bars. I'm glad she's out of this house. And I hope she rots in the gutter. I could not spend one more night in that place. Julie is getting crazier by the minute. Uh, you know, uh, drugs. 
stress, murder. I do it to you every time. You know what? I really am starting to think that she did kill her father. And Grace. Yeah, and Grace, too. Yeah, and to throw the police off the trail, she probably overdosed herself with morphine. Oh, come on, that's just speculation. Until we get proof. Well, in the meantime, where are you going to be sleeping? Oh. Um, well, I'll probably just go down to those little apartments down by the post office. Well, those little apartments down by the post office are very dumpy. You're moving? Oh, hi, sweetie. Yep, I'm moving around. Upwards, onwards. That's my motto. Come here. Hey, you can move in here with us. We have lots of room. Oh, well, that's a very generous offer. Yeah, and we could have corn dogs. And we could watch television. And when Daddy has to go to work, you can babysit for me. <laughs> and you can teach me ballet, girlfriend. Oh, my gosh. I am exhausted already. You have so much for me to do going on there. Well, listen, that is really nice of you, and I really appreciate the offer, but I think that, um, I think that your daddy and you really need your space. Besides, you know, when, when girls grow up, do you know what happens in the bathroom? There's this makeup, and then there's hair curlers, and there's all kinds of things all over the place, and it's not good. Oh, so when I get bigger, I have to move out? Oh, I'm gonna toss you right out. <laughs> No, never, never, never. Hey, listen, you know what? Will you go in there and clean up that clay before it hardens on that counter? Because oh. then it's a, ooh, a nightmare. Hard, we can't okay. get it. Okay. 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 All right. I'll see you later. Okay? See you later, girlfriend. Bye. Oh, man. No one can ever say that kid isn't cute. You know, I, I just would love to have you here, but I just... But, uh, I think but, uh, it would be good for Serena. Right, you couldn't keep your hands off me, is what you really mean. Uh, I think it'd be vice versa. I think you would have me up and down. Oh, no, uh, uh, you knees. wish. Oh, it would be more you wish. At night. Well, now I kind of want to stay. If I was alone, I wouldn't hesitate. What about uh, bathroom clutter? Well, we would work something out there, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, get those panties off the... Listen, um, Serena runs around so much, and, uh, she would eventually just catch us in some... And then an advanced biology lesson. I know, I know. Mm-hmm. I know. Where are you gonna stay? Well, I think... I think I'm gonna go to the on-call room. It won't be the first time. Yeah, but, uh... I suppose we could deal with one night if you want to stay here on the couch. No, no, probably not. I don't think so. <laughs> I'll get you a room at the Port Charles Hotel. No, thank you. I'll go ahead and go to the on-call room. I probably won't get into too much trouble there. Okay. Okay. So long. Bye. Listen to me, I really need to know the real name of Marie Curie. It's the real name. Hey, would you get off me? I thought she was a really good friend of yours. Oh, well, ooh, actually, I fibbed. See, at this party once, I, I got to know her kind of, and I turned my back, and she stole my money, my hard-earned money. I want it back. Oh, uh, no, no, that does not sound like Marie Curious. Okay, well, that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to get confirmation who the real Marie Curious is, you know, get the real name. So what is her real name? What is her real name? Wait, wait. No, I, I pride myself on my memory. Oh, goody. Okay, well then relax. Deep breaths, okay? Breathe deeply. While you're breathing, though, could you tell me how long she worked for Enchanted? About a year. Okay, that, that makes sense. Okay, keep breathing. Uh, did she work all the time? How often? She kept herself pretty busy because she said she needed the money. Okay, breathing, breathing. Was she a toxic, sort of self-centered, vain person, really? Well, I mean, she was kind of tough, but you have to be in this life. But she had a wicked sense of humor. Used to imitate her clients. <laughs> she stuff us in stitches. Oh, 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 boy, yeah, well, you know, before she ripped me off, I, I really did like her, too. So, has that breathing kind of name come to you yet? <sighs> It'll come to me. Okay, well, keep breathing. And in the meantime, is there anything else I could do for you? Mm -hmm. oh, uh, uh, oh. Something like Elizabeth. Huh? Eleanor. Uh, uh, e e e e e
listen, could, could you please tell me everything you know about Eve? Lucy, uh, time to go. Uh, oh, excuse me, just one teeny tiny moment. Listen, Doc, I am really on to something here. Could you just Lucy, one I moment? just spent $2,000 bailing you and my father out of jail for solicitation. I'm in no mood to be put off. I know, but I have the most wonderful news. And I don't want to hear it. Now, you either come out of there or I'm going to leave, get my bail money back, and leave you in this cell until you actually begin to like the food. Okay, okay, just, just, just one second. Hey, listen, um, my name is, is, is Lucy, L L Lucy Coe, and, and it's really a pleasure to meet you, and I'd love to meet with you again. Uh, could you tell me your name? Tammy. Tammy? Mm. That's your real name? Lucy, you come out of there right now or I will leave and offer to testify for the prosecution. <sighs> okay, okay. Listen, I, I guess I have everything I need. It was swell meeting you. have a lovely voice, and, and, and girls, thank you. It was so nice to see all of you, and, well, ta. Doc. Just go. Oh, oh. Boy, I thought my pimp was bad. What's going on? We're conducting our own investigation. Isn't this Eve's stuff? What are you guys going through it for? Julie found a bottle of morphine in Eve's medical bag. What? Mm -hmm. She said someone else put it there, of course. You guys don't. She's not trying to hurt you. Now, we'll have the proof soon enough. The police took the bottle to dust it for prints. And meanwhile, Eve moved out. We're giving her a hand by packing up. Oh, something tells me Eve wouldn't be too happy about helping her pack up. Oh, ask me if I care. She'll land on her feet like the alley cat she is. Speaking of unpleasant, guess who I ran into at the hospital today? I give up. Courtney. Yeah, I know. She's there because her son has leukemia. Who's Courtney? Some skirt Joe was chasing It was a long summer. time ago. We all make mistakes. As long as you've learned from yours. Frank, don't worry, all right? The only person in my life right now is Karen. Hold that thought. Courtney is nothing but trouble. I am the last person who needs reminding of that. Hey, what are you doing here? I thought you were off tonight. Julie Morris Devlin is a jerk. Yeah, well, what chance did she have? Look who raised her. What did she do? Let's just say I'm no longer living in the Scanlon House of Horrors. <laughs> they kicked you out already? You should try charm school or something. They didn't kick me out. I left gladly. It's just going to be a pain in the butt looking for another place to live. Oh, well, you'll do fine. You always do. I could use more than just your confidence. And what did you have in mind? Not what you were hoping for. Last time we roomed together, you had me move out because the chemistry between us was too good. Is that oh, what you said? The word tease comes to mind. Oh, come on. That is not true. You had me move out because I was getting close to finding out that you didn't have any cash. Well, so now we all know you're a fake, so... You know, if you're trying to butter me up for a favor, you're doing a lousy job. Hey, do you want help with the rent or not? You want the couch? Oh, for half the rent, I want more than just the couch. Suit yourself. Have half my bed. In your dreams. How about we move a futon into your office? It's not big enough. We can move all your office furniture out. You're asking me to live with a possible serial killer. Now, how do I know you're not going to up and murder me in the middle of the night with a fountain pen? I'll get rid of all the fountain pens in your house and replace them with felt tips. <laughs> I'm not convinced. Hey, why would I kill you, Christopher? I need you. Since when? How would I be able to afford the rent on your place all by myself, huh? Oh, quit batting your eyelashes at me before I puke. So do we have a deal? Yeah, why not? I suppose if the urge hits me, I can always smother you with a pillow while you sleep. What the hell do you think you're doing? Helping you pack. You have no right to touch my things. What's the matter? Do you have something to hide? What's the matter? You got something else to plant on me? I didn't put that bottle of morphine in your bag. Yeah, and you didn't steal my address book either, did you? I didn't. You're a lousy liar. Well, I haven't had nearly as much practice as you. God, I used to feel sorry for you. I did. I thought you had a crummy family, a crummy father. But now I see that Bennett's the one that got the raw end of the deal. No wonder he came to me for comfort. And you sure gave it to him, didn't you? Right through the heart. Oh, you seem to forget, Julie. Your father didn't have a heart. You're not going to get away with this. I will personally 
see to that. Oh, spare me the outraged daughter act. Please, it's not going to work with Oh, me. I'm outraged, all right, thanks to you. I have lost my father. Even my memories of him are tainted because of you. Oh, boy. Freud would have a field day with this one. Little Electra complex going on there, sweetie. Oh, you were the pathetic mm -hmm. one looking for a father figure. I mean, isn't that why you were sleeping with How him? How dare you! I hate you. And I will bring you down if it is the last thing I do. I wouldn't try it if I were you. Your father didn't. He failed miserably. And so will you. Just watch me. No. You watch me. I am sick and tired of your spoiled little princess act, holding your breath and stomping your feet. People are going to find out the truth about you. And until they do, I am not breathing the same hypocritical air as you. I'm out of here. You can't run that far. I don't have to. I'm no grace. You come after me, and you're going to be the one lying cold on the floor. I'll send for the rest of my things later. It was all my fault for involving Lucy in my plans. Oh, Victor, no, no, no. I am not going to let you take the blame for this one. I practically forced you to oh. go with me. Victor, it's not your job to protect Lucy. Well, it's not your job to judge her. Victor, leave us alone. <sighs> Lucy? Yeah, it's OK, Victor. Listen, I am really sorry that I got you arrested. I didn't intend for that to happen at all. It was fun. I haven't had so much excitement in Later. Um, I know that you're mad. I know you are really, 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 really mad. But, y you know, when you hear what I have to say, you're going to know it was all worth it. My father's just out of an institution, and you got him arrested for being a pimp. I know, but he looks really good in purple. And he, he said he had fun. You just heard him. Thank God he thinks he's Don Quixote. Oh, Doc, come on. At the jail, you wouldn't let me tell you what I found out. But I did it. I finally did it. I got the goods on Eve. And a new entry on your arrest record. Oh, that's okay, because Mac will take care of that. He'll clear your father's name. Listen to me. In the jail, I met this hooker who used to work for the Enchanted Escort Service. And she told me Eve was an escort at the service. Don't you see? It's wonderful. I got it. It's pathetic, Lucy. Well, yeah, actually, you're right. You're not going to believe the name Eve used. She called herself Madame Curious. Kind of a takeoff on that woman scientist, you know, Madame Curie. Ugh. You should be very proud of yourself. I am. I am, Doc. Don't you see? I finally can protect Scott and Serena. I am protecting them from that lying slut. Well, good show. You went digging for dirt and you found it. I did, didn't I? Oh, I, I can't believe I did this. You know, the police, those fools, they didn't even try half as hard as I did to get the proof. And I did it. I got the proof on Eve. I did it. I did it. I did it. You know, Lucy, you still don't have the proof that... Devlin knew anything about Eve's past or that he threatened her with it. Oh, Doc, come on. What did Devlin do? He hired an investigator to investigate Eve. Why would he do that if he didn't have something I on her? I still don't believe Eve killed him. And you did not believe that Eve would actually turn tricks. Well, she did a lot of them. Even if Eve killed Devlin in a fit of rage, that doesn't explain Grace Sullivan's murder. That was a cold, deliberate act, and Eve doesn't have it in her. I don't believe this. This is really... Not about Eve or Grace or murder or anything, is it? This is about us. This is about the fact that finally I get to be right and you're wrong. You can't stand it. I wish that were true, Lucy. Look at you. You're doing it. That's what Scott always says you do. You condescend to people. Well, you're right. I did not go to Oxford, but I happen to be very smart. Lucy, you are the smartest, most beautiful woman I have ever known. But do you realize it's been almost a year since you've said you would marry me? And look at you. Well, you know what? I'd like to get out of my braids, but I can't because we can't stop I arguing. remember a warm summer night at the duck pond. I asked you to marry me. You said yes, and I thought I was going to fly. Doc, don't you think I remember every millisecond of that moment? In that I... year, only one of us has gotten married, Lucy. You did. To Rex Stanton. And now that that marriage has been annulled, you're going out on a series of dates with strangers. That's not fair. I have a reason. I yes, I know, I know. You were helping Scott. You always have a reason, an excuse, or some noble plot that keeps you from concentrating on us, Lucy. Be honest with me. Do you even want to marry me? Doc, you know I do. I love you more than anything in the world. And why is it almost a year since we got engaged, we're still not married? 
And why am I bailing you out of jail for doing something that you told me you'd never do again? I'm not going to live like this, Lucy. This is Lisa McCree. And Kevin Newman. Tomorrow, if you love Frank McCourt's bestseller, Angela's Ashes, wait till you see what his younger brother has to say. Plus, discover the hidden healing powers of spices tomorrow on Good Morning America. Congratulations to Port Charles on their one-year anniversary. Voice your opinion about the show and take the Port Charles Daily Poll by clicking over to ABC.com today.